previously on Hacker Homestead. Is a thin client, one gigahertz processor, and that is the Via C7 Eden. Eight dollars. You could hook up an IDE hard drive, uh, 512 megabytes, two gigabytes, and a 32-bit x86 processor. So it's a 12 volt barrel jack right there. Our two internal USB ports, a DVI port, which does do analog video out, Lipiker port, and you have a mic in port, upgradable RAM. We're gonna run Linux, we're gonna run FreeDOS, and with a modern version of Linux as well, we'll be able to do a whole bunch of programming languages. This is like a Zen garden for your mind. Part two. Welcome to part two of our exploration of the CX Zero Thin client. Since we are short on time and want to get to the really fun of actually doing things with the device, I am going gloss over the hardware and get straight into the install of Alpine Linux. Since installing Linux is not exactly the most exciting activity, we will try to have a little fun with it and I compressed time on a few parts. Just know that the whole install was about, oh, 20 minutes, but I compressed it to like six. So um, you're welcome. Let's get into it. First, you're going to download the ISO file for 32-bit Alpine Linux extended release 20.18. Use the URL below and get it burned onto a CD or imaged on a thumb drive. Your choice, yeah. I am not going to tell you here how to write an in-page to media. There are plenty of other videos out there. But if you really want me to do a video on all the ways to write an install image to media, let me know in the comments. On with the show. Make sure you have your install media, a target drive you will be installing to, and lock and load. On first booting, you should see something like this. It's the operating system installed on the 128 megabyte IDE flash hard drive. We will install FreeDOS on this later on, but for now, just ignore it. Unplug the, the power and then power back on, repeatedly hitting the delete key. This should bring you to a password screen, the default BIOS password is Fireport. Once in the BIOS, we will navigate to the security tab using the arrow keys and clear out the default password. Let's look around for a moment to see what this BIOS has to offer. Notice that while the the only, only thing currently installed is, is the flash drive, there are references to CD-ROM support. Now frame buffer size, we have 512 megabytes installed. This is divided up by the BIOS allocating video memory. We will leave it at the default for the install, but may increase it when we get into running X windows or other graphics. A headless boot is useful when you are running this as a server. Same with power states, if you, uh, if you where to uh, unplug uh, or uh, have uh, uh, power outage, uh, do you want the device to start back up automatically? Okay, here is what we really came here for, to adjust the default boot order. Let's check these options out. For example, we have booting from an FDC or floppy drive controller. We will test them in later shenanigans. But. For now, let's just make sure all the USB options for uh, hard drives, keys, and CD-ROMs are before uh, the internal IDE drives.
that should be it preparing for the install. Save and let the system power cycle. As you can see, the capture device switched to 640 by 480, so there we go. And we're going through our Pixie Boot attempts, I, I think, at this point. I don't have the Ethernet adapter in, but when you see that ISO Linux boot, you know that it's starting to load the kernel. And we should be cooking here in just a moment as it's initializing. The default username is root and there's no password, so you just hit enter. I assume all of you can read, so as the instructions say, we're going to type in setup alpine US because America US. We're going to call our host name something. You can get creative here. I'm just using CX0. Yes, we by default want Ethernet 0 and dynamic host con configuration protocol. And uh, I don't need to do anything manual. For the most part, in this installer, the defaults are going to be what you want. So type in your password twice. And I like UTC because that's a universal standard. There's no proxy. We're going to use Crony because for network time protocol, we got to at least um, wind those clocks periodically because computers are really bad at time. This is the Alpine Package Keeper, their package management system. And we'll go into this another time as far as creating your own mirror and using a local mirror. Uh, but I chose to have it find me the fastest internet mirror. I'm not gonna set up a user. Yeah, we're gonna use OpenSSH. Um, by default, it's not gonna accept a password. And of course you can provide a URL if you already have a a key and here's where I kind of went off track <laughs> so I'm using control alt f2 to switch to a virtual console and I'm trying to log in but uh, at this point it's already set the password so I do have to use the password that we set and um, ls bulk is not installed by default in the installer so I'm taking a look at the SCSI devices because I'm not sure if it picked up the right thumb drive, honestly. And uh, this is a good um, example of troubleshooting, right? If you're, if you're not sure what's going on during an install, um, in this case, then I'm not installing over the installer. Uh, and so what I did is you can add LS bulk, you can add packages in the installer. Um, and a lot of times it'll just install them from local. And uh, by looking at that LS bulk, I, I did realize, yeah, SDC is the correct device. I'm gonna check it one more time. I'm hitting Control, Alt, F2, and F1 to switch back and forth between virtual consoles. And we're happy with SDC. And this is really about it. Um, now we're gonna do a sys standard layout. And do we wanna continue? Yeah, we do wanna continue. Are you sure? Are you sure? Are you sure? See you on the other side. That. So, Freedom Zero is the freedom to run the program as you wish for whatever purpose. Freedom One is the freedom to study the source code of the program and change it so it does the computing you want it to do. They say the user lives outside the and inputs games for pleasure. No one knows for sure. But I intend to find out. freedoms is missing then the users don't control the program instead the program controls the users tonight oh man you did it you did it you 
Next time on Hacker Homestead, Handy will be installing packages and streaming media to your smart TV with Mini DMLA using the CX0 and more. Make sure to like and subscribe to be notified. Thanks for watching.